Okay, we'll make this a quick one. I'm using a high def camera. <laughs> I got, I'm at Starbucks. I need some edibles. Um, this is a tincture with a thousand milligrams of THC and some CBD. Gold and amber color. Very convenient way. Getting the cannabis that I need to prevent me from choking motherfuckers with dirty cops and homophobes abusing me in the community. Castro don't fucked up now. You wanna call me a bully for standing up against MAGA and build that wall? You wanna call me a bully for showing up to a bike shop to pick up a thousand dollar bike that I have money wired from my bank for to facilitate the assembly and transportation of? No, no, I'm not the fucking bully. I'm the victim of the bullies. And I've gotten tired of it and started standing up for myself. And it's pissing off the bullies. Because I ain't no bitch. Okay? No, Castro is one of the bullies, man. Castro is the homeless Leia sign here in Lake Forest. And I have screenshots of the stalkers on Facebook bragging about their direct line of access to him, okay? Castro doesn't need to operate off my reports of the Trobergay Mafia and pedophile attacks. Castro has messages waiting for him when he comes in the door, directly from them, nigga. Like, remember when I got by Castro 5150 but I'm out in the woods asleep and they come get me and wake me up? Well, guess what? That was Lou Stefano because I had good evidence of his treachery up on my channel and he needed me indisposed so we could false flag it as copyright strikes. And we know this all unfolded because I won the appeal. It's all been proven. Like, it's documented. Like, yeah, he false flagged it during the, the 16 hours I was in the 5150. And then in the morning, um, or well, nine hours, I filed an appeal in, in the coming weeks it, after the, 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 the strikes had hit and after they pulled the whole channel and I won. And that's Big Wood Vlogs. The whole fuck channel was gone until the appeal. Now... He won't take Dayson 5150 remotely. He won't let someone call. He won't let me call in about Dayson. Was Dayson was saying this? An old lady and a couple, an Asian couple, were my family, and they were spying on him and participating in the satanic rituals to kill any children. Okay, I don't know who those people are. Okay, the old lady and the couple. Those are just other victims of Dayson. They're not my family, and I don't know who they are. Instagram has Dayson's Instagram account has, says that I'm involved with the church and he was screaming and yelling out in front of the church and it caused a problem and they attacked him. Okay, now that story could be true up until the uh, part that I'm involved in it. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm not involved with the church. Those people aren't my family. If he did piss the church off by doing that, that's their business. Nothing to do with me. Okay. fucking sick and tired of the abuse. I told you this. Told, tried to tell Castro and the rest of them too. Y'all pussy stuck with me because I got abused where I came from. When I changed locations, it just increased the overall abuse because the old people still abuse me and now the new people abuse me. And you all are pussies compared to the old people. So I'm not going to go a third place and make it worse by finding new people to get involved. And I'm not going to go back where I was before up in L.A., where it's even more dangerous than the, the, the fucking people bullying me are heroin dealers strapped with firearms that fucking drive by me and fucking take video of me and post my location on the Trooper Game Mafia so the other terror members know exactly where I am unbeknownst to me until someone feels sorry for me and sends me screenshots and is like, hey, look, it's getting out of hand. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. I'm very clever. I go to the place where it's safest and easiest. That's this. 
okay? It's not great, but it's not as bad as it was. Pedophile attacks never recovered. After I scared off the Tropic Game Mafia in 2016 by saying I would slaughter children indiscriminately if they kept fucking with me, the pedophile attacks never recovered. It's nowhere near. I mean, we're talking order of magnitude. It was 10 times worse back in those days, at least, easily. Every weekend is the equivalent. It takes a whole month for him to catch up what he would do in a weekend. 2015, 2016. <coughs> is it good that I'm still getting it? No. Is, do I want 10 times as much or more? Fuck no. Mm. Now I gotta get back out here and get this uploaded. I have to fucking edit this into a separate card. Ah. Oh. I mean, you're nodding off a of Starbucks and you're fucking bitching at me about that. Like, look, I'm so tired, I can't keep my head up. Life's a bitch. Okay. But I have to do this work session now, because then I have to put my laptop and stuff back into storage and go on my gym run. So, there is, I can't just do it tomorrow, I gotta go. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. Leave thumbs up, make sure to share this on all your social media struggling young businessman some retard trying to make his way in the world you can help just by clicking a few buttons too lazy then donate a dollar <coughs> paypal links in the description i also have patreon just getting started with that if you would like to make a monthly commitment i got plans starting at a dollar